So I'm going to go down to the search. And I'm going to type in certificates. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up my certificate store. And here's my store. So I'm going to expand personal certificates. And there's my certificate that was showing up. Now, the reason it says the letter X, because my username is X. So if your username is Joe or Marsha or whatever it is, it will show up with whatever name you logged in as. So what I can do is I can go right click and choose all tasks and I can choose export. Click next. Yes, export the private key. Definitely need that. These the defaults here are just fine. Put in a password to protect your certificate. Click Next. And now the file name. So I'll put in file name of certificate backup or whatever it is that you want to call it. Click Next and finish. My export was successful. Fantastic. So now what I can do is I can go and take the certificate and I can move it to another place that's safe where I can get it if I need to. So if for some reason that certificate gets deleted, then we've got a problem. So let's watch what happens if I delete the certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose delete. Yep, it's gone. So now let's say that my certificate is gone. I've deleted it. I need to get that back. Otherwise, I can't open up any of my uh, my files that have been encrypted. So I can just right click, choose all tasks and choose import. Locate my particular file here, file name. It's still on the desktop, of course. So I'll choose desktop and I'll choose the PFX certificates because that's what it is. Click next, put in my password that I used when I exp exported it. Click next. I want to put it in the personal store. That's where I deleted it earlier and finish. And my import was once again successful. Let's make sure I can still open up my files. Go to this PC. There's my shared folder. Look at that. I can open it and see this uh, text file. You can see this little gold star there. That means that's encrypted. Double click and I can still open it. Fantastic. So exporting and importing work. And that's how you export your certificate and re-import it back in. And that is in Windows 11.